What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free Major League Baseball home run prop show for Sunday, April 30th, 2023. Now, just a reminder, if you haven't already, please make sure you like this video, hit that thumbs up, and uh, make sure you're subscribed to our channel, and, and also make sure that you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the new content here at Pick Dogs drops. You, know, you can see we've got some action on Sunday. We're getting this video out as soon as possible. Some late information, some late, um, some late, uh, late prices coming out on these teams. But, um, you know, we did have a, a solid day yesterday. Only hit one home run prop, but hey, we made almost all of our money back as Randy Rosarena hit one at plus 510. And I say almost made your money back as if, you know, you're betting on every single prop, which you don't always have to do. But again, these props are, are you know, high risk, high reward. They're just for fun. You know, they just have some side action on the game. But uh, if you're looking for the best bets that I love the most, make sure you go to pickdogs.com. Click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. Check out those premium plays, including my daily $19 best bet, crushing the MLB right now and uh, on a 67% run. Hoping to keep that going forward into another week. But without further ado, we will get into the home run prop action for uh, Sunday, April 30th. Now, you know, I think, uh, you know, I'll preface, I'll start this, this show off by, you know, giving honorable mention to that, uh, that Padres-Giants matchup. And I will tell everybody right now, I do not have any official plays for that game in this home run prop show. Mainly because I could probably do a home run prop show just for that Padres-Giants game based on what we saw on Saturday. 11 home runs, 27 runs combined in that game. And, you know, this is a, still a, a solid, solid pitching matchup for offense. Uh, you know, you Darvish, yeah, he's still an ace caliber pitcher, but still not a pitcher I'm, I'm looking at back. And Alex Cobb, a pitcher that's, that struggled on the road last year in a neutral environment, still away from either Petco or uh, or Oracle. Yeah, I think uh, Cobb could be in some trouble there. So again, no official plays on this home run prop show for that Padres-Giants matchup. But again, it's only because I can maybe give out 15 home run props for that, uh, for that game. I mean... Just names that I'll throw out. You can have guys for the Giants like, you know, Yastrzemski, Tyro Estrada, uh, J.D. Davis, Blake Sable. They're all in play for me. Uh, you know, Soto, Machado, Tatis Jr., um, others, you know, Bogarts, uh, other Padres in play for me as well. So just too many guys here in what's already a loaded home run card for us on Sunday. So look at, uh, I really like that matchup between the Giants and the Padres, especially after Saturday's result, but... Uh, Nothing here for me to, to give out. Like I said, I dropped some names there. But uh, the other one I like, I also like basically the catalog of Tampa Bay Rays against the, the White Sox. You know, Mike Clevenger, better pitcher than, you know, uh, what we saw from uh, from Lucas Giolito. And Lance Lynn had a solid outing yesterday. But Lance Lynn also carried a no-hitter into the seventh inning. And the White Sox still found a way to lose that game 12-3. to That sort of just tells you the state of the Chicago White Sox. And if, you know, they don't get to Clevenger, I believe they sure as heck We'll get it. Get to that uh, that Chicago bullpen. You know, we mentioned Randy Rosarena hit for you, for us yesterday. Also had honorable mention to Josh Lowe, and he would have been an official play here had we been able to find a price for him entering that game. So keep checking your books. You know, make sure maybe you can get one of the prices for for a guy like Lowe, someone that we mentioned on the show that we don't have a slide for. But you know, if you can find a price for him, hey, like I said, you would if you caught that Easter egg yesterday, you would have cashed in big. But anyways, we'll get to the actual official plays. For um for uh for Sunday we'll see you later Randy thank you for helping us out not once but twice on uh, on uh, on Saturday but anyways we'll start things off uh, with this matchup between the Twins and the Royals and I'm gonna roll with Jorge Polanco uh, to hit a home run here at uh, at plus 480 he's got a 13 percent barrel rate this season he's hitting 286 against right-handed pitching this season also has a pair of career home runs against Brady Singer who's in the bottom one percent of pitchers this season in terms of hard hit percentage allowed. And uh, the bottom 17% in terms of barrel rate allowed. He's also given up five home runs this season, Singer has. So I think there could be some value here with Jorge Polanco at plus 480. Also like Joey Gallo uh, to hit a home run at, uh, at plus 325. Has a home run in his career against Singer. He's three for six. He leads the Twins with a ridiculous 32.3% barrel rate. He's hitting 282 with six home runs against righties this season. So I'm going to look at uh, Joey Gallo at plus 325. I also like Max Kepler to hit a home run at plus 550. Uh, he's hitting 265 with three home runs against righties this season. 13.6% barrel rate. And he also has a pair of home runs in his career against Singer. So I'm going to roll with Max Kepler at plus 550. And I also like Byron Buxton uh, to hit a home run at, uh, at plus 450. 
a solid 15.2% barrel rate this season. He has a home run in his career against Singer, hitting 271 with four home runs against right-handed pitching this season. So I'll take a shot with that with Byron Buxton uh, to hit a home run at plus 450. Now again, you know, I do this every show, you know, I've mentioned everyone about, for me, what the importance of barrel rate is, and that's sort of that definition. If you're new to this show, or if you're new to sort of just uh, advanced analytics and metrics whatsoever, you know, the barrel... Um, barrel zone is sort of that perfect sweet spot. It's almost it almost looks like a little slice of pie coming off of the bat, um, where he has that perfect combination of launch angle um, and uh, and speed coming off of the bat, exit velocity, and hard and just how hard the ball is hit. And the the further out you go into that into that uh, into that slice of pie, so to speak, the more likely you know you're going to have a hard hit ball going into the outfield. And you know, ipso facto. Doesn't take too hard. It's a doesn't take much to put two and two together. You're more likely going to have a shot at a home run. And I mention this percentage all the time. In 2022, 45 percent of barrels, 45 percent of balls that were hit and were ruled barrels, ended up going for home runs, and that was the lowest percentage that we had seen of barrels to home runs in a decade. I mean, we're talking about percentages normally in the 50 to 60 percent range. So it just goes to show you, you know, how important, or at least how much I feel. Um, barrels are in terms of being an important metric in terms of making you know picks for home run props and that goes both ways you know you can, you can, you've heard me mention it before you know the hitters can have have barrel have high barrel rates and that's exactly what you want what you don't want is a pitcher with a high barrel rate giving up meaning that they're giving up a ton of these hard hit balls and uh are you know more likely probability to uh to to, to give up home runs in those spots so just a, just a, a general you know look at what barrel rate is and you know Hard hit percentage, exit velocity, launch angle, all things that you know are definitely important when looking at home run props. But it's almost barrel rate is almost a combination of them uh, all to, to really put it into one key uh, key metric that, like I said, is sort of a uh, a do it all metric, if you will. But uh, anyways, we'll get back into the uh, into the picks for uh, for um, for Sunday's action, and we're gonna roll to this matchup between the uh, the Angels and the. Um, uh, the Angels and the Brewers, and before I before I continue, sorry, there was one Brewer that I wanted to look at, but unfortunately I couldn't find a price on him, and that was Rowdy Telez of the Brewers. I really like Telez if he ends up playing here. You know, Jose Suarez going for the Angels, coming off a start where he allowed five home runs against the Oakland A's. Telez has you know an eleven point nine percent barrel rate this season. He doesn't have a spectacular season, long numbers against left-handed pitching, but in the last week he's hitting four twenty nine against lefties with a home run. So I look towards Rowdy Telez if he ends up playing. I haven't seen him on any injury report, so uh, maybe I don't know if he's a scratch or if he's just getting a day off. I haven't seen, but uh, if he plays, I would look at him. Um, but I also like Hunter Renfro to hit a home run at plus four ten. Three home runs against right-handed pitching over the last week, and uh, he's third on the Angels. Um, in hard hit percentage, Colin Ray isn't you know uh, reliable uh, for the most part. He isn't terrible in terms of giving up barrels, but he is giving up a lot of hard hit contact. And he's not missing many bats either. He's one of the lowest whiff rates in the league, and that could be troublesome against this Angels lineup that can flat out swat. So I'm going to roll with with uh, Hunter Renfro to hit a home run at plus four ten. Also going to look at Mike Trout uh, to hit a home run at plus two sixty five. Leads the Angels in barrel rate. Second in hard hit percentage this season. He's hitting 300 with a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching over the last week. So I'm going to take Mike Trout at plus 265. Also, it wouldn't be a, an Angels uh, grouping without looking at Shohei Otani at plus 320. Leads the Angels in hard hit percentage. He's uh, second uh, in barrel percentage this season, hitting 294 with a pair of home runs against righty over, righties over the last week. So I'm going to look at Shohei Otani to hit one at plus 320. Also going to go with a, a bit of a... Uh, I want to say off the board pick here, but he's someone that maybe necessarily hasn't made a ton of uh, of our uh, home run props. Actually, this might be his first, and uh, something we don't necessarily talk about the Angels with all the focus being on Otani and Trout. But I like uh, Brandon Drury to hit a home run at uh, plus four eighty, a solid ten percent barrel rate. Uh, he's hitting four twenty nine with a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching over the last week. So I'm going to go with Brandon Drury to hit one at plus four eighty. I say solid ten percent. I mean that if you look the average or an average barrel rate. Uh, is around six and a half percent. So, if, if you're getting ten, that's pretty good. If you're like like I mentioned, Joey Gallo earlier hitting thirty two point three percent barrels, that's borderline elite in terms of barrel rate. So, look at uh, yeah, well, you want you want to have a decent sized barrel rate for these home run props. And if you're a, a pitcher, obviously it's like golf, the lower the better. But uh, anyways, we'll look at uh, this matchup between the uh, the Yankees and the Rangers. 
And uh, I do like Labor Torres to hit a home run here at plus 475. He has a pair of home runs in his career against Martin Perez and a pair of uh, home runs against lefties in the last week. Now, neither Martin Perez nor Nestor Cortez Jr. are giving, giving up many barrels. But just matchup-wise, I like Torres, and I think uh, he's going to be a, a live threat here as well as our next uh, home run threat. And for me, that's going to be Josh Young uh, to, for the Rangers to hit a home run at plus 475. He's hitting 400 against left-handed pitching uh, with both hits going for home runs over the last week. And uh, he's hitting 400 with three home runs against lefties this season. So it's not just we're talking about a one-week sample size. We're talking about the whole month so far. First month of the season, a month plus, I should say. Uh, you know, Young has been crushing uh, left-handed pitching. So I'm going to roll with Josh Young to hit a home run at plus 475. And uh, also, like uh, this matchup between the, uh, the Arizona Dimebacks and Colorado Rockies, uh, look at Cattell Marte to hit a home run at plus 350. He's got a 546 batting average with a pair of home runs uh, against Austin Gomber who has a 9.1% barrel rate, which is definitely below average this season. And Austin Gomber in Colorado just has not been a pitcher that I've been looking to back in any way, shape, or form. And I think Cattell Marte gets one here. You could obviously look at guys like Christian Walker. Um, you know, Even Alec Thomas could be, could be in line for one. But I just think that the one I felt most comfortable with here, just given the history between these two teams, um, and I should say the, the history in this pitching matchup, uh, would be Cattell Marte at plus 350. Also like Ryan McMahon to hit a home run at plus 360. He's hitting 357 with a home run against righties at home this season. Leads the Rockies in barrel rate. You know, I don't love simply backing overs and backing home run props because the game's at Coors. Um, but, you know, still, what we've seen from uh, from these from the Mexico City game on, uh, on, on Saturday that, hey, the environment still does play a role even if you don't consistently back it. It's still it's it's still there and it's not going away. So take a shot with Ryan McMahon. Uh, like I said, he does his best work against righties at home this year. So take a shot with him at plus three sixty. And we're gonna go to our final game of the day, and it's this matchup between the Dodgers and the Cardinals. And we're gonna roll with uh, Max Muncy to hit a home run at plus two eighty five. He has eight home runs against right-handed pitching this season. Um, Jake Woodford for the Cardinals has a fourteen point three percent barrel rate allowed. Muncie leads the Dodgers with a ridiculous 30.4% barrel rate. So I think uh, Muncie definitely could be in line to get one here. Plus 285. Another play I really like, and I think a name you're going to probably see a lot more frequently on this uh, this home run prop show, uh, James Outman uh, to hit a home run at plus 475. The rookie's tearing it up. You know, Second on the Dodgers in barrel percentage at 19.5%. He has six home runs against right-handed pitching this season. We just talked about the problems that Jake Woodford has had con you know, controlling the barrels this season. So, go look at James Outman here at plus uh, 475. And we'll switch dugouts for our last couple plays. The first one, plus 350 with Nolan Gorman here. He still leads the Cardinals in barrel rate. He has six home runs against right-handed pitching this season. I think Noah's susceptible, excuse me, Noah Syndergaard is susceptible uh, to giving one up here. You know, his barrel rate sitting around 10%. And, um, again, I've, just, I've watched Noah Syndergaard get beat up. He just gave up seven runs in his last start. You know, I think that uh, I mean, the home run ball didn't play as much of a factor in that one. But I think in this game, you know, definitely with some of the bats on the other side for St. Louis, um, Nolan Gorman definitely in line to get one here. And the last one we're going to roll with is uh, Paul Goldschmidt to hit a home run at plus 350 as well. Has a home run against Syndergaard in his career, second on the Cardinals in barrel rate. Um, like I said, I just I think this is just a, a bad matchup for, for Syndergaard. And, uh, you know, I think maybe Syndergaard going to start to wind it down a little bit you know you're starting to see him you know well into the back nine you know definitely as i'd say his best days are long behind him and uh, i think goldschmidt can uh, can make him pay here at plus 350 now before we get into the recap just want to remind everybody you know with these home run prop plays you know they are just for fun they're just for a couple bucks for some side action you don't have to play every single one i give out it's your, your choice too by all means i'm not going to tell anybody how to spend their money or, or you know spend their bankroll do whatever but these are not plays that you want to dump your whole bankroll into. They're just you know plays that you put a few bucks on, and if you want to parlay them up, parlay up whatever ones you want. I'm I I would be realistic. Don't expect every single one to hit. And we obviously want every single one to hit. We, we, we would would be a lot more fun if it, if it ended up that way. Um, but take the ones you like, you know. And if you want to parlay them, do that. I tell people sometimes to round robin it if it's if it's within your means. You know that way. How many times have all of us you know been in the same boat where? We get one game wrong on the parlay and it screws the whole thing up. Well, at least if, you, if that happens and you round robin, you know, everything, whatever you play by twos or combinations by twos or by threes, 
Well, if at least if one misses, you still hit something. So definitely that that's a, that's a way I would look at playing these home run props. But without further ado, again, we'll get back into the recap. We'll guys, get you guys out of here so you can get these bets in. Uh, we started things off with Jorge Polanco at... Uh, at uh, At, uh, at plus 480. Sorry, thought I paused it. The dogs <laughs> the dogs are still barking in the background. Uh, plus Jorge Polanco at plus 480. Uh, also went with uh, with Joey Gallo uh, to hit a home run at plus 325. Uh, at Max, oh boy, that's embarrassing. That's going to make the highlight reel. Uh, Max Kepler to hit a home run at plus 550. Also had Byron Buxton uh, to hit a home run at plus 450. Now, again, I liked Rowdy Telez, but unfortunately there was no slide for him or no uh, no no um, no uh, no odds out for him at the time that uh, we were recording this video, so we couldn't put Rowdy Telez in. But uh, I do like Hunter Renfro to hit a home run at plus four ten, Mike Trout to hit a home run at plus two sixty five. Also had uh, Shohei Otani to hit one at plus three twenty, and Brandon Drury to hit a home run at plus four eighty. Glaber Torres uh, to hit a home run at plus 475. Also had uh, Josh Young to hit one at plus 475 as well. Went to the, uh, the Diamondbacks and Rockies game. Had uh, Cattell Marte to hit one at plus 350. Uh, had Ryan McMahon of the Rockies to hit one at plus 360. Max Muncy at plus 285. Uh, we had James Outman at plus 475. And then we finish with a pair of Cardinals, plus 350 for Nolan Gorman, and plus 350 for Paul Goldschmidt. But anyways, thank you guys so much for Appreciate each and every one of you for watching this uh, this video. We've had some issues here, but, uh, you know, this, this, it's kind of what uh, makes it candy. You know, you can tell it's completely genuine here at Pick Dogs, you know. I'm even just like, oh, yeah, I got dogs barking in the background and uh, stuff going on. But again, I uh, appreciate everyone here that, that's tuned in to watch this Home Run Prop show. You know, again, just a reminder to hit that thumbs up. And if you're not following already, please do. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to be in the know when this new content drops. Like I said, you see afternoon baseball and um, and try to get those home run props as early as possible. Sometimes we get the late information, but we're still going to churn out these videos for you. Make sure you get at least some free picks, you know, every single day. And um, also, if you're looking for my best bets, again, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs, I make sure to tell everyone, please, check out these betting tools. They're 100% free. They do all the heavy lifting for you. They help you find angles that you may have missed. They help you find the best possible price at a certain book or the best possible number. And that is the one advantage that these sports books cannot take away from you is your ability to shop lines, find the best possible number for yourself. And if the, the nice thing about Pick Dogs is that if you don't have a book, with that, uh, with with the sports books giving you the best possible price, you can sign up, get an account, get a bonus, as well as getting that best possible number. Also, have parlay builders if you're looking to have a parlay built for you, or if you're looking for the best parlay out there, just based on the best value, the best plus money odds that are on the board with how often the plays are hitting. You have a best parlay tool. We have near fee, near fee stats, player props, you know, profitable angles, profitable teams, tr uh, streaks. If you're a trends better, you like backing just hot and cold trends. Have those too. I can tell you the possibilities for you at Pick Dogs are endless and Sports Chat Plays are endless with these betting tools. So please make sure that you go and check them out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.